So look at the world population today, approximately 7 billion people, 1.52 billion Muslims. And if you want to percentage this, how many are practical also among those 2 billion or 1.8, 1.5, whatever the figure is, how many are punctual in that five daily salah? You know, I know a believe her sister. She told me one day, you know what? On Friday, we go to the shops, but we found that the shops are closed, and most of these people are Muslims. They go for prayers, or what they go for? You go to the meeting every Friday this time? Say no. Like Christians, you go mostly Sundays, in large numbers, you go to the church. Then you do your prayers, you go. So our great day is Friday. We go for that Friday shala, then we come back and the people open their shops and carry on with the business. She told me, she said, you know why? Allah, that is God. God Almighty definitely will help you people. I said, what do you mean? He said, you close business. That time the money is coming. People close it. They sacrifice everything. For 30 minutes, for one hour, 45 minutes. You know how much money you can make in that short period? But he said, because your Lord is calling you. That is why you leave that place. That is why the customers I see in the shop, they, start, they stand by the shop when it's closed and they wait until you come from your prayers and they start by from you. That is one salah, that is Jumu'ah. Imagine that Muslim have to get up for that fajr. Sometimes we see our neighbor, when as salatu khair min al you hear the sound, the man is opening his gate or he's starting his car, he's going towards the masjid. But mashallah, maybe it's in winter, it's cold. The brother moved the blanket again on the bed, carry on with that sleep. The brother went to the masjid. He performed his salah with comfort. Subhanallah, he returned back home. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa said, Whoever prays Salat al Fajr al Jamaat, for who is in Jilmat al he is under the protection of Allah. Give glad tidings, give news to those people, good news to them. Those who leave their home in that darkness and go and pray their Salah in the Masjid, that darkness will turn for them on the day of Qiyamah with a great light on the day of Qiyamah. So you look in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum and all the Anbiyas who have been passed before us. How much effort they have made for this deen? How much struggle they went? Yahya and Zakaria alayhi salam, what happened to them? The Jews of those times, what made them to take that sacrifice because of the deen of Allah? They have to cut Zakaria alayhi salatu wasalam into two pieces. Yahya alayhi salatu wasalam, how we do the kurbani, they have to slaughter him like that. But for what? For the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sahaba radiallahu anhu, when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasalam called them towards the deen of Allah. When Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu accepted the message of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasalam, he never sit at the same place. He said, this is the best religion. Hatta Umar radiallahu anhu. When he just accepted Islam, he went to Abu Jahan. So he knocked at the door, because the mother of Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu is the brother to Abu Jahan. He knocked the door of Abu Jahan. When he opened, he said, oh, my uncle, you know what? Imagine what happened. Today I became a Muslim. He said, oh, my son, don't do that. He banged the door and he went there. He went to different people to show them that he have embraced that religion, which is the best religion on the earth. 
which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept on the day of the hour. So now we see in our time today, you will find no, no Muslims around us. You will find no Muslims around us when it comes to Salah. That's what is close that time. But when it comes to Asr, when it comes to Fajr, when it comes to Goha, what happened? What action did I take? To show the example to those non-Muslims who are around us, or might be sometimes working for us, might be sometimes they are our business partners. Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum, they went to places where they couldn't speak the language of those people. But they went with Islam there. I have given this practical example here before. The brother accepted Islam in this place because of the Sunnah he was practicing. His mother accepted Islam at the age of 67. He accepted Islam, they taught him how Rasulullah was eating and how Rasulullah was humbling himself. He went to practice that at home and he bring people closer to him of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of an action. Action give some work by speaking also spread the deen of Allah. By practicing Islam, spread the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In many cases, many occasions, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he found an old lady, he was carrying firewood. So when he come close to that old lady, he said, can I help you? So he carried the load of that old mama and take it for him, for her. Then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this old woman tell her, him that, you know what, my son, you are a very good young person. But there is a person in the town is spreading something which caused the father and the mother, the whole family to stop and they will leave each other because of that boy. You saw, because of that young man. Be careful of him. Do not come close to him or sit in his garden because he will mislead you. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa tell the old man, you know what, the person you are talking of, that is myself. Muhammad He said, it can be. I am 100% sure if that is the person, it's exactly you, then I will bring faith towards you. And because of that, that lady become a Muslim because of one action of Rasulullah Today we find we walking with some people. For many years, not even one, sometimes they are scared of us, of course, because of the relationship with the boss and the servant like that. Even to speak is difficult. So they are scared to even ask the question about Islam. The message should carry on. I'll give you a story of the Sahabi. One day, his servant has to prepare some meat because he's expecting a lot of visitors, important visitors coming to his house. So the slave girl was preparing. She prepared everything in 100%. So now she was carrying the plate of the food and bringing it to the Sahabi and the visitors. When they come close, when she come closer, she slipped, she fell down, the whole plate thrown everywhere in the house. A lot of noise, everyone is seeing what is happening. So this Sahabi looked with so much anger. Then the lady said, my master is walking with Quran. He will judge with the Quran. I will bring Quran to him. She read the verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wal kadimin al Allah. Among the qualities of people of Jannah are those who swallow their anger. Well, Afina and Nas, and they forgive people. Well, 
Allah who you hate for Muslims, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala really loves those who do good. So when he mentioned the verse to the master, the master said, "Oh my servant, I have swallowed my anger." The slave girl said, "Well, Afina in Nas, he said, I have forgiven you." She said, Wallahu yuhibbul muhsineen. He said, I have freed you from today. Look at those people of that time. What message are they person to us today? How many times we have sit and explain to that worker and explain to that person, you know what, Jannah is coming, Jahannam is coming. Leave those belief. If you know what is in Qiyamah, you will rush towards Allah. You will join us to pray that Salah. Yes, gradually calling people towards Allah. The brother was telling us an incident in no way. They were following one person. They call it a friend. For one year, six months. Brother, come close to us. Come close to this beautiful deen which is Islam. Because today what is portraying in the media is showing the bad image of Islam. So now everybody sees this like that. So now when they come to us, what is our role? What should we play in that sense? When the media is portraying Islam in negative, those with us who are Muslim, what should we show to them? This is great responsibility Allah has given us. Kullukum ra'in wa kullukum mas'oon an ra'iyatihi. Everyone is a guide. Allah will ask you of those people who are under you. When Rasulullah was dying, he was leaving this world, unanimously agreed, he was saying, As-salah, as-salah, mind this salah, perform this salah, wa ma malakat aymanukum, and those people who are under you. Meaning our children. We go for salah, that child must come with us to go for salah. Depend on the age. You perform that fajr salah, wake up that child, perform salah. Somebody say it nicely, we wake up the child, quickly, get up, go to school, it's time, time for school, you are getting late. But time for fajr, oh, let him sleep. Let him have comfortable time. Rasul Salaam said, teach them when they are eight or seven, and a little bit hard when they are ten. So those under us, those in our environment, will find a non-believer next door to us and say, hey, what a terrible neighbor. And he's a Muslim. SubhanAllah. These Muslims are like this, they are like that, they are like that. What have we shown to them? How did we speak with them? How did we interact with them? SubhanAllah. It's a responsibility Allah has given us. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِمَّنْ دَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Whose word is better than that person? Who is calling people towards Allah? Ayyala salah, come close to Allah. Kuliyah al-Kitab, tell them, the people of the book, Ta'alaw ila kalimatin sawain baynana wa baynakum. What is our difference? That kalima la ilaha illa Allah. Believe that there is only one God. Believe that there is only one Allah. Believe that you will stand in front of that Allah on the day of the Yaman. But Jumu'ah is strong. Fajr is very weak. Maghrib is weak. Isha is weak. Asr is weak. So that is a message we have to pass. When they see us in Jumu'ah form in Fajr, sometimes we don't even have to speak. People will come closer to the of Allah. When Rasulullah وسلم, before his demise, this verse, this ayah, this surah was revealed, Ila Jaya Nasrullah wal Fat, 
You'll see the people will enter into the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in numbers. Umar radiallahu ta'ala and one of the Ibn Abbas, Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala and other sahabas made tafsir of this ayah. They said, no, 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 no. This is showing us that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's message has been completed. He will no more stay with us for long. That means that his time has closed that he will leave this world very soon. His work was completed. Imagine how much effort he has been until those people come close to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today, because of their effort and their sacrifice, we are Muslims today. So why we not following that way of Rasulullah and the way of that Sahab radiallahu anhu, this Rasulullah has taught us, even the kuffar of those days, they trust him so much, they have to leave their things with him. They know that this man is a good person. We have to learn the qualities of Rasulullah We have to look at his ways, his dealing with this thing. If you are a mean of one person to come to the deen of Allah, subhanAllah, that person has to perform that fajr. Maybe it's difficult for you to read that Quran, you become the hafiz of the, the uh, hafiz of Quran, which you are not. But because of you, make the effort that he is a Muslim, he call himself Muslim. Allah will reward you of every action of his he has performed until he's going to die. So how many benefits we are going to get in both dunya and akhirah because we are helping the deen of Allah. In terms of Allah and so on. Allah doesn't need help. Allah is independent. Whatever we are doing, we are doing for our own self. This is coming to us, Muslims. What effort we are did, that is the effort we will find on the day of Qiyam. You will find so much people on the day of Qiyam, they will have people who follow them. Because of what? They made some effort. You give, you just call. Invite the brother to that deen of you. Leave the rest with Allah. Inna talata man akbar. You are not the one who guides, but pass that message of that deen. Whatever opportunity you got, whatever time you got, pass the message of Allah. Qul hadihi sabili adu ilallah. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala told him, call people towards Allah and tell them this is your way. To call where? To call towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I myself, woman it tabani, and any person who is among my ummah and is reading La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa call towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You coming for Fajr Salah, you coming for Dhuhr Salah, Muslim brother, remind him, let's go together. Some people, mashallah, they make a road of a car, they go together for Fajr Salah. That brother next to you is not a Muslim brother, do and give me a message which is the best of all messages that is Islam. Come close to the deen of Allah. Leave the rest with Allah. Allah will do the rest. Allah tell us, call. Show that Allah to those people. Show them what is Islam. By speaking, way of speaking, way of acting, way of doing businesses. These people are our responsibility. Any person who is a non-believer is a responsibility of a Muslim. And any Muslim who is living away also is a responsibility of a Muslim for guiding him into this neighborhood. getting on for approximately 30 years. However, our Muslim brothers and sisters have been killed and oppressed for more than 30 years and something has to be done. We are very disappointed that most of the businesses that promised us that they will not be keeping Coca-Cola products 
are still keeping Coca-Cola products. We are not asking for money, we are only asking for businesses not to stop these products, and we ask all people here to tell their friends, family, and business associates not to stop or to consume any Coca-Cola products for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in conjunction with the world Muslims. Secondly, we at the Institute for Islamic Services have started with our Operation Kurbani for 2014, inshallah, to be carried out in the Bihar districts of India by our team at 180 rem per Kurbani. Two members of the community will be going to assist at their own expense. We ask people to support this project, uh, project as all, of, all, of, all the profits go to various IIS projects. You may call us and we can pick up at your doorstep. We will also be coming around in the next few weeks. Jazakallah. Allah, the Lord, 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 the